Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. Today I'm going to make a mini album, um, concertina style. So I've just used some um, retired designer series paper here just to make a quick prototype. And I will show you how to make this. Um, the reason I've done it this size is because I can get the whole thing from one sheet of 12 by 12 designer series paper plus one um, piece of A4 card. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I would say that the pattern that I'm using is non-directional. Um, this is from the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper. Um, double sided as always and um, so it doesn't matter which way I cut my designer series paper if you've got a directional pattern then you would want to make sure that you cut in line with that direction so that your direction carries across that way hopefully that makes sense so if you've got flowers that point up that way you want to cut along there and there. So this is 12 by 12. I'll bring in my trusty trimmer. Oops. And I'm just going to double check that it is exactly 12 by 12. Yes, it is. Okay, so as I say, it doesn't matter which way round it goes for me. I am going to cut this at four inches. One piece, and then I'm going to do the same. So I end up with three pieces that are four inches by 12 inches. And I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to cut that down by four inches. So I'm just taking that four by four square off. So I've now got two pieces that are four by 12 and a third piece that is four by eight. I'm finished with my cutting for the moment. I'm just going to do some scoring. So this is my four by eight piece and I'm just lining it up on the long side at four inches and scoring. So basically that is now in half. Except I've clearly not got that quite right. <laughs> I will fix that in my bone folder. and for the two pieces that are four by 12 again just lining that up at four turn it around and I'll do four on there as well okay or you could just do four and eight but that would mean take an arm out again not really necessary so again scoring at four And at four again. Okay. Now that's my scoring done. I've got them all scored at four inch intervals. And I'm going back to the piece that I cut off, which is four by four. And I am going to cut that in half. I can set that aside. I will use that as a little pocket and then I'm going to cut the remaining piece in half as well and then each of these I'm going to cut on the diagonal and that gives me four little corners okay finished with my paper trimmer now. So those little bits 
as I will use as corners and the big bit I'm going to use as a little pocket on there so that there's plenty of space for you to do a little bit of journaling as well as adding in some photos. So not a piece wasted. <laughs> so I'm just going to reinforce those score lines. In a concertina fashion. got your edges lined up fold it back on itself trying to get it as neat as possible okay so with the one that I did previously I mixed and matched so that I had um, the two different designs of the paper showing and this time I think I'm actually just going to have it all one way on one side and the other design on the other side just for a little change. So, so easy to put together. Um, now I am using a circle punch which has retired um, but I'm sure quite a lot of us will still have them in our crafty stash. If not you can use um, a circular die um, and just add the die onto your designer series paper um, with it overhanging and then run it through your die cutting machine. I've got a punch, so I'm going to use the punch because it's so much quicker and easier to do. Um, now, I am using a small applicator bottle um, for this, just so I can get my glue pretty close to the edge on there. Um, I'm just using Tombow that I've decanted into one of these tiny little bottles. And then just simply lining that up as close as you can get to the score line. So by bending it up that way, um, you can kind of manoeuvre it into place. You don't want it to overlap, but you do want it to get as close as possible. Okay, so that's one bit done. And then I've got another bit to do. So again, I'm just going to take out that little bit. And I'm only adding glue down this edge along the bottom and up that edge there. Okay, so I don't want anything to go along there. And this piece is just going to do the same as the last one. Try and get that lined up top and bottom and as close in to that crease as possible. Okay, so I've now got the bones of my little album. Okay, now I'm going to have this as the front. I'm going to put one of these little um, triangles on and again I just want to do the two short sides with glue close to the edge as you can and then I can put that again just trying to line it up along the bottom and along that edge there. There we have it. 
So I've got a little bit that I can use to tuck something in in there. That's a little pocket I can tuck into. Uh, I will leave that bit blank. This I can tuck things into. In fact, no, I will put one of the little corners on, but I'll do it that side on that one. Again, just try to get that in line. And on this back page, I am going to add this little pocket. Again, I'm going to put a semicircle in there just so that it shows more as a pocket and just put my glue along three sides leaving out the bit that I took the semicircle out of okay. and that goes in there which means I can put some tags or something in that bit there. So we've done all the bits on one side. Oh, I've done that wrong. I've got that on the back. Oops. What have I done? I should have put that on there. Not on there. Can I? No. We'll leave it. We'll pretend I put it on there, which is what I should have done. Um, and we'll just improvise. <laughs> so. Again, we've got two more of these. And we know that that's a doubler and that's a doubler. So I'm going to put one on there. And I'll put one on here, like so. Now, if you want to, oops, use more of your designer series paper, then obviously you can add in more bits and pieces. I just wanted to show what you can do with just one piece of 12 by 12 paper so that's the only reason I'm only putting a little bit of a couple of pockets on the back okay so that's the bones of our little album and goes like that. I thought it looked a bit nicer just rounding the corners on that so I'm using the detailed trio punch to do that and simply folding it at each bit and rounding that corner. Okay. Okay, so I've got my corners rounded all the way along. Quite happy with that. Um I will put the measurements for the tags um, and the, the inserts that I did in my blog post. So there'll be a link to that blog post in the description bar below. I'm not actually going to use this one. It was just my prototype. So I will just simply repurpose what I made for this one. So... Um, here we 
there. So I've got a little bit in there. I can just pop that in there. I've got my pocket that we made by overlapping the two pieces of designer series paper. And that can sit in there. Put another one of them here. And all I did with, with that was, um, again, rounding the corners. For this bit, I've used this piece of the um, detail trio tag. So you basically just put that in and make sure you've got it in the middle, press it down and it'll give you that, that you can feed your ribbon through. And this bit here, I'll just show you. Put that in press down and you get that lovely little detail on the corner there as well. So pop that one in there. You maybe want to leave it a little bit longer so that you know your glue is totally dry um, and you're not fighting against it. And for this bit I had made some tags with just the bits that were left over and for the top of that I used the fancy tag topper punch and simply just put through some of this crinkle cut, not crinkle cut, crinkled seam binding ribbon and tied that with some of the pink twine from the snail twine snail mail twine combo I think it might be called yes and just tying that twine in a bow around about the ribbon cut that so I'm not fighting against the whole bit of ribbon So the tags are just nice and simple. You could decorate them, you could stamp them, um, you could add little bits of designer series paper if you've got little scraps left over from another design in the pack. Um, you could stamp nice little motivational messages, anything like that. Um, you could blend the edges, whatever. I just kept mine nice and simple um, just to show you the mechanics of the album really and you can decorate it exactly how you wish to um, it's just a nice way to use up some of that really pretty designer series paper um, that's a bit more longer lasting um, because you'll keep them in the album for a bit longer than you might have kept a card okay so we have that side, we can do that, um, I'm going to put that in that way, so I've got a plain bit at the back, and then we've also got these two that I can pop in there as well, it's so well camouflaged isn't it? designer series paper on designer series paper so you could add photographs onto these bits or just because it's so light you could just simply journal on top of that um as well so let me figure out how to put this back together um so that that is not sitting Oh, have I missed one? Yeah, let's put one in there. Or did I take it out? Okay. So, to decorate it, I'm going to keep it really simple as well. Um, I am going to use more of the same ribbon. And the great thing about this crinkled ribbon is that it's crinkled and it doesn't matter how many times you tie it and untie it 
because it was crinkled to start off with it doesn't look out of place um, so what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of tear and tape to hold that in place on the front just put that over it I'm going to cover that with something else anyway in a moment that doesn't matter and do the same on the back okay. in the middle and that will keep that nicely in place you can then tie that in a bow or just in a knot, whatever you prefer. Oh, come on, where are you? There you are. Get a bit with that to your heart's content. Um, so you've got that closed and your ribbon's going to stay in place. I... I've just done a couple of bits of decoration and I have to confess that I did have to go into my scraps drawer um, to get extra card to do these little bits. Um, and this is using the art gallery stamp set. Um, so I've used um, with Blushing Bride and then that one I used Flitty Flamingo and Real Red, no, Poppy Parade with that little one, with that little one, indeed. <laughs> okay, and then cut that with the corresponding die from Floral Gallery, just that one there. I've also used these ones and some of the other stamps, the sentiment stamps in here that I thought might be quite nice. So I've got a congratulations And what I'm going to do is just add them on to the front. And just continue to use my little bottle, seeing as how it's here. Okay. You could decide to add that with dimensionals. Um, I'm just going to glue it straight down because there's going to be enough bulk once you get your photographs and um, any other little bits of ephemera you want to put in there and I'm going to add that other one to the back just to help keep that ribbon in place and to cover up my tear and tape. Alright, so we've got clear up some of this stuff. It opens. We've got that little bit there. I could pop on that happy, which is the happy birthday I just cut down. Um so you would want to maybe put a nice happy photograph on there. And you can pop whatever else you want on there. You can do uh, I miss you on this piece. And we've got our flower there. Oh no, what have I? Oh, because I'm... Oh, I've done this completely wrong. Because I folded that bit over, because I put that on the wrong place, that should really be my back, which would mean that the ribbon would be... Uh, oh, right, okay. I need to pop this one up with dimensionals. So the one on the back, I need to go on with dimensionals and I don't want to rip too much. I might need to re-stamp that. And then, yeah, I'll 
I'll restamp that one. Um, and then the ribbon will slide underneath it. Okay, bear with me one moment or two and I will do something. Actually, actually, will I just add a piece onto that that we can write on? Let's just do that rather than the flower. smaller. Let's make it three and a half inches square. It was always going to be a risk that I was making it up as I went along. <laughs> a little bit for journaling on there. Let's open it out. That bit's going to fold in, that bit's going to go round, and that's going to come round the back here. And we can tie that. Now I've got one more of these that I could add to the other side. So we've gone through that way and now we can go and I'll put you are lovely on there. having the tags on the back and we'll go with that way all right got there in the end honest <laughs> hopefully it was worthwhile <laughs> it's a pretty little um mini concertina album or brag book whichever you prefer to call it um that you can add in some nice little photographs um, do a little bit of journaling, memory keeping, um, pop in your handbag and use to um, show to friends when you meet up with them um, what's been going on in your life recently. So I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, do pop over to my blog for a list of all of the products that I've used and uh, all of the measurements. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.